Good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Coco Mama, where is Coco Mama? I miss you, Coco Mama. Thank you so much, Coco Mama. Thank you so much. I hear you are having some issues with Davey. Don't worry, he's just a little boy. Okay, don't worry about Davey, Coco Mama. Davey, Davey, he'll come up, you know, he'll figure it out sometime in life. You already know, we already know that. He's just a small, small boy. <laughs> don't worry, Coco Mama, ain't nothing that Davey can do to you. All right, he exposed your number. Don't worry, Coco Mama, he'll catch, it'll catch up with him. He's just a little boy misbehaving. If he doesn't respect his own mama, he's not gonna respect his big sisters. But anyway, anyway guys, how are you? I miss you so much. Miss you guys. Sorry, I've been so busy trying to close school this year. And um, in a couple of weeks, I will be, I will have some more of my time. I will be making my own schedule doing the day and we'll see how that goes. All right, of course I have a lot to do, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I am here to do a little bit of cheese me. <laughs> cheese me, guys, cheese me, some gossip. Come on, guys, I am Mara is over there in Argentina these days talking Spanish. So we got to talk a little bit of Spanish too. All right, ahora nosotros vamos a hacer un poquito de chisme. <laughs> a little bit of gossip. We're going to gossip a little bit. Y me falta muchísimo chisme de Ayamara. I so much miss my gossiping about Ayamara. I miss the drama. Ayamara is purposely, he is purposely, we know that he is purposely making his videos as boring as possible. He is punishing us by secretly dating a girl. We already know Aymar is dating some girl. He's by himself, you know, he's in a hotel room. Please, we guys, we, we, you guys, we all know his character. You know that he goes chasing after the girls. He's not putting the girls on the camera because he wants to bore us. He wants to chase us away with boredom. However, we figured it out. So my question is, of course, Lucia. Did she give him that phone call that weekend? I noticed that actually he was very busy that weekend, so I doubt. You know what he went to do? I doubt he was with a girl, but then again, you never know. And nonetheless, I think, but he mentioned, I think yesterday or the day before, he did mention Lucia, uh, where he was at a school where she was at. So he mentioned her, he said that was where he met her. So the question is, do you guys think he's been dating Lucia secretly from us? <laughs> what we have forbidden, I think she's too young for him and too innocent and naive in the light of the package that he's bringing. But um, he is not keeping, he's keeping it a secret. He's following Mr. Matua's advice. I think a lot of other people have told him that, you know, not to speak his love life on, on the camera. And so he's not speaking it, but we know something's going on. Something's going on. And um, me, um, I guess, you know, I'm sure maybe in the comment sections, I don't know, somebody will figure out what's going on. Um, I know he's preparing to go to um, Antarctica, but uh, no, 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 it's been too long. It's been over a week in Argentina. There's gotta be some girl around the corner somewhere. Um, he's decided now he's gonna do his uh, videos with men only because for us to see the chemistry, you know, is our joy. And he doesn't wanna give us that joy, guys. So we're waiting. In the meantime, I'm trying to close um, the school year. Um, and you know, my eyes, if anybody is worrying about, has worried about my eyes, it's still the same. The, um, I'm still having issues with the eye. However, for some weird reason, it's tolerating me not having to wear sunglasses now because I, or maybe it's because I'm got, getting used to the fact, but I'm just going through different mechanisms to see if my eye can get better. And I'm praying to God that it does get better. Um, I just find it ironic that my eye got like this about, <coughs> <excuse me. coughs> it got like this about a month ago and um, and it's about a month and a half ago that I started this whole um, reactor um, avenue of my channel. <coughs> so I'm coughing, sorry. 
So anyway, um, I'm making this very quick video. It's not going to be long. Just wondering about, you know, when is Aymara going to give us some more interesting content? I, uh, I, think, I think we were really into the human interactions rather than his touring. But right now he's just doing his tourist thing. And the fact, he had made it very clear that that's what he wants to do without us coming into the picture and adding all the all the fascinating things that we add, the flavors that we add. So he's doing his own bland flavor. They do say that, um, I remember Miss Trudy, when she goes to Ghana, I mean, she does mention that um, Kenyans do not like spice in their food. It is the Ghanaians who like, the, um, who like their um, chili. So maybe I guess I should go and get some chili from Wodemaya. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I should get, go in the side of what Amaya and see if he has any chili because um, because I and Maya has decided not to put any more spice in the food. So anyways, um, if any of you guys have any comments, uh, please note it. I want to thank all of you guys for hanging on to me. Thank you so much. I noticed that my numbers are creeping up to 900 and I'm getting really excited actually. I am very excited and it's all because of you. It's all because of you guys who come and watch because this is my motivation, my motivation to come and talk to you because you guys are communicating with me by watching, communicating with me by commenting. And really it's a human exchange. I mean, we say it's chisme or whatever, but it's fun. It really is for the fun and for the joy um, of human exchange that some of us lack in the communities that we live in. You know, so I really, um, I really wanted to applaud the Ayamira channel for what it did for us, even if it was just for a month or two. We, um, I am highly appreciative because um, that was a great medicine. I also want to thank Modesta Lifestyle, Coco Mama, um, for having reached out in the way, manner that she did. She says she is a nurse, a nurse indeed. You know, um, a nurse indeed. She has gone beyond the hospital um, roof to um, reach out to the public beyond where she um, treads. And um, that is what I think healing is all about. So I really appreciate her for that social medicine that she provided for us during this time of hot, heat, heat, heat with Ayamara. Those who come here, you know, saying, calling us haters, I noticed that there are younger people who do not understand life and do not understand where we are coming from or the human the humanity of what went on through the entire Ayamara thing. Ayamara, even though he doesn't like it, um, you know, it, it's not his, it wasn't his choice to help the humanity in that manner. But it was God that allowed it to happen in the manner in which it did happen. And God showed us it was his hand by blessing those who he went against that were, um, that were creating the, the social environment for us. And I thank you. And, um, and I and the young people who are calling us haters, I hope someday that they will come to understand what just happened here and they will realize the miracle of God. So anyway, you guys, some of those of you guys who like to pray with me, um, you know, I, this is not supposed to be like an extended video, but um, at least remember the Our Father for today. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we tre forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All right, guys, please may God bless you and give you your daily bread for this day and deliver you from all evil, from all of Ayamara's crosses. I don't know if he cuts my eyes, but I rebuke it in Jesus' name and I shall be healed in the name of Jesus. And all of you, uh, you shall be delivered from evil in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Dears, I love you guys. I love you guys for coming back. I love you guys for um, helping me reach this number that I'm about to reach. And with God's, with the, by the glory of God, it shall happen. And I shall thank God for it because I've come a long way. I'm not talking about coming a long way in YouTube. YouTube is just a representation this little milestone that I, I'm reaching is just a representation of what I've come about in the greater picture of life. And it's been a struggle. So um, 
this, I must say, this is a miracle. Even though none of you guys are like near to me, friends to me, but it has been a great miracle. And I thank God for it, and I thank you for it. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.